Hey everyone, today I'm releasing my new Druid UI and Weekora pack covering all four specs, the Guardian, Balance, Feral, and Restoration. All my user interfaces are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them from the website link in my description below. In the links in the description below, I will also include two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI and more importantly, customize the UI to track your own trinkets, your own spells, and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long VOD showing you how I built an entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat using the Windwalker as an example. All these revamped Wikoras are also now foreign language compatible, so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me talk you through the components for every single spec so you know exactly how they function after you have imported them into your very own game. Let's start off with the Guardian Bear Tank, and we'll talk about the first row of icons. It tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and grayed out. Take note, we do not track abilities that do not have a cooldown to them. The core abilities that we track here are Trash, Mangle, and your Mitigation Iron Fur. It also includes your Covenant abilities and I've configured it such that no matter which Covenant you are in, the UI will reflect your respective Covenant abilities. If you'd like to track an on-use trinket in this role, you can. My how to install video will show you how to customize it. The second row tracks my defensives, cooldowns, and my sustain as a tank. It tracks buckskin, survival instincts, frenzied regeneration, incarnation, taunt, roar, amongst your other crop controls. And moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see a red bar that represents how much rage buildup you have as a bear tank. The white figure in the middle denotes how much rage you have. Above the icon sit a buff bar where you can track how long your defensives last, including your mitigation iron fur and how many stacks it has, as well as the duration left on iron fur. It also tracks externals used on you via your healers. That's all for the bear tank, let's talk about the balance druid. Similar to the bear tank, the top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of all the buttons you will press. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The key rotational abilities tracked here are Starfire, Wrath, Moonfire, Starfall, Sunfire, as well as your various covenant abilities. The second row of icons then track your defensive and offensive cooldowns, including Buckskin, Treants, Fury of Elune, Celestial Alignment, as well as your utilities such as Innovate, Roar, and various crop control. Above your icons, you will see a blue bar to the left that tracks your Lunar Eclipse, and to the right, an orange bar that tracks Solar Eclipse. Above those two bars, you see a faint pink horizontal bar that denotes how much Astro Power you have, and the white digit in the middle tells you exactly how much Astro Power you have. Finally, you will also see a buff bar on top of it all. It tracks various buffs that is important to a Moonkin, including your Celestial Alignment uptime, your defensives, and various procs. That concludes the Balance Druid, let's talk about the Feral Druid. The Feral Druid starts with the first row of icons that tracks your rotational abilities. When the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. We are tracking the rotational abilities and the various debuff timers which include Rake, Rip, Trash, Tiger's Fury, Berserk, as well as various covenant abilities. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities, including Buckskin, Survival Instincts, Soothe, Roar, and various crop control. Above your icons, you'll see five horizontal orange bars that denote your combo points as you execute your rotation. You will also see a yellow horizontal bar that denotes how much energy you have left, and a white digit in the middle that tells you exactly how much energy you have. Finally, you will see a buff bar on top of it all that tracks specific buffs to a Pharaoh, including your Tiger's Fury, or Man of Clarity, Blood Talon, Predatory Swiftness, as well as your defenses like Buckskin and Survival Instincts. And that concludes the Feral Druid, let's talk about the Resto Druid. For the Resto Druid, we start with the first row of abilities that are largely your healing spells. Note that all your healing abilities with no cooldowns are not tracked by the icons. What is tracked are abilities with distinct cooldowns, including Swiftman, Nature Swiftness, Wild Growth, and Tranquility. It also includes an Afflorescence Tracker, to track the time on airflow before you have to place another airflow down. When you have no airflow placed, the weak aura glows, reminding you to drop airflow. I round off the row with your covenant abilities and these will change based on your covenant picks. The second row then tracks your cooldowns and big buttons including Iron Bark, Tree of Life, as well as various other utilities including Ursaur's Vortex, Typhoon, the Dispel, Innovate, 
amongst other things. Moving away from icons, you'll see a thin orange bar above the icons that represents the mana bar for you. It comes with a white digit that tells you exactly how much percentage mana you do have left. Beyond that, you'll see a buff bar that tracks various offensive buffs and cooldowns, as well as your defensives. These include your nature swiftness, heart of the wild, tree of life, as well as bug skin. And that, my friend, sums up the walkthrough of my UI for all four specs of a druid in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below that covers how to install the UI in three simple steps, as well as answers to some frequently asked questions, including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move the weak auras and scale them, amongst other questions. My website where you downloaded the UIs also have detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcome. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I will update the weak auras over time to address bug fixes and errors. If you have questions about the UI, feel free to drop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer your questions live. If this video was helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands and World of Warcraft videos here, and I'll be releasing class week or us for all the other classes in World of Warcraft. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers. They make the creation of these user interfaces and weak or us possible. And a big thank you to you for supporting my user interface and for watching the video. Take care and enjoy the user interfaces.